All right, today what I wanna do is take a look at this complex circuit and show you how to analyze a complex circuit like this where we don't have resistors that are either in series or parallel with each other. We rather have this complex arrangement of resistors. Now we're gonna analyze this circuit just like we would a series or parallel circuit. And that is first we're going to determine the equivalent resistance. And then we're gonna solve for the current and voltage across each of these resistors. So to first find the equivalent resistance, what we need to do is find two resistors that are either perfectly in parallel with each other or perfectly in series with each other without any other resistors interfering. And you'll notice right here, we have two resistors that are in parallel with each other. And this other resistor is not interfering with that relationship they have with one another. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine these two resistors using our parallel equation. And you'll remember the equation for resistors in parallel is so applying these values for resistance into our equation we find the equivalent resistance of just these two resistors which are in parallel is equal to 1.2 ohms now I'm not gonna say this is the total equivalent resistance. This is just the equivalent resistance of resistors two and three. So I'm gonna call it R23. Realize it's not the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit. But realize we could take these two resistors and replace them with a single 1.2 ohm resistor and this circuit would behave in the same way. Now what we have is an equivalent circuit. That is to say this circuit behaves exactly like this circuit did, except we've taken this two ohm and three ohm resistor and we've replaced them with a single 1.2 ohm resistor at the same spot in the circuit. And remember, we're trying to find the equivalent resistance of this entire circuit. So now what we wanna do is combine our remaining resistors. And you'll see in looking at this, we have a one ohm resistor in series with a 1.2 ohm resistor. So when combining resistors in series, we simply add together the individual resistors. So in this problem, that's gonna give us a total resistance of 2.2 ohms. See, all we've done is we've taken these two resistors and combined them into a single resistor or an equivalent resistor. And that's gonna leave us with a circuit that looks like this, where the total resistance is 2.2 ohms. And so we've taken these three resistors and combined them and then combined them again down to what we call the equivalent resistance. And now that we know the equivalent resistance, we can go through and continue to analyze this circuit by solving next for, now that we know the equivalent resistance, we can continue to analyze this circuit by solving next for the current which is coming out of the battery. And you'll remember, we can use Ohm's law to solve for the total current or what we might call the current at the battery, where the voltage of the battery equals the total current multiplied by the equivalent resistance. So knowing the voltage of the battery is nine volts and the equivalent resistance is 2.2 ohms, we find the total current or the current coming out of the battery is 4.1 amps. And now that we know the equivalent resistance and the total current, we can start to work our way backwards through these circuits in order to determine how much voltage and current there is through each individual resistor. Looking at this circuit right here, we know the total current coming out of the battery is 4.1 amps because this circuit is equivalent to this circuit. And so in looking at this, we can see these 4.1 amps are gonna travel along this wire and through this resistor R1. So using Ohm's law, we can find the voltage drop across resistor number one here. And we find there's 4.1 volts 
which are used up as the charge passes through this one ohm resistor. So now that we know there's 4.1 volts used up and passing through this one ohm resistor, we can look at this original circuit to determine the voltage and the current through both our two and three ohm resistors. Remember, when a charge comes out of the battery, it has nine volts of electric potential. And as it travels along this wire, that potential is not gonna change. So a charge right here, just before it enters our one ohm resistor, has nine volts of potential. And we just found that the resistor is gonna use up 4.1 volts of potential, which means as a charge goes through this resistor, it's gonna lose 4.1 volts from its original nine, which is gonna leave it with 4.9 volts of potential as it passes through this wire. Now, whether that charge goes this way, down this wire, or this way, it's going to still maintain 4.9 volts of potential. And you'll remember, as the charge passes through these resistors then goes back to the battery, we know it has to have zero volts of potential when it enters the battery, which means a charge anywhere along this wire or this wire is going to need to have zero volts of potential. And so now the important thing should jump out at us, and that is that there's 4.9 volts of potential across each of these resistors. So if we wanna solve for the current through each resistor, we simply need to apply Ohm's law to each resistor. So looking first at our two ohm resistor, we find the current through the two ohm resistor is 2.45 amps. Applying Ohm's law next to the three ohm resistor, we find the total current through the three ohm resistor is 1.63 amps. And it's important to point out that the sum of these two currents is equivalent to the total current that's passing through the circuit. It's simply when the current gets to this junction right here, some of the current goes this way and some of the current goes that way. And then after passing through each resistor, that current comes back together into a single wire. So to make it a little bit clearer as to what's going on with each individual resistor, I'm gonna make a table over here. And this just makes it a little bit more convenient to see our results. Now you'll notice, no matter what pathway through this circuit a charge took, whether it went this way through the two ohm resistor or this way through the three ohm resistor, it had to go through both the one ohm resistor as well as one of these, which means it had to lose a total of nine volts of potential. That's the same nine volts that it started with in the battery. You'll also notice that all of the current passed through this one ohm resistor. That's why we could say its total current was 4.1 amps. But that current split unevenly in this little parallel circuit. But the total current which passed through this parallel circuit, that is this plus this, is still 4.1 amps. And so this is how we analyze a complex circuit by first finding the equivalent resistance and current in the battery, then working backwards to find the current and voltage across each component. And on that note, that's all for now.